when you adjust for all the important SES and demographic factors, that includes income, education, age, race, and sex, as well as some covariates that we included, which were distance to clinic, which is a surrogate for convenience, and patient medical conditions, which can be an important um, confounder with regard to clinical trial participation. Income was the only socioeconomic status or demographic factor that remained an independent predictor of clinical trial participation. Uh, lower income patients uh, were uh, patients with income less than 50,000 per year were almost 30 percent less likely to participate in a clinical trial than patients with incomes of 50,000 per, per year or higher. Um, this uh, was a very robust finding independent of how we categorized income and the main uh, con uh, concern for lower income patients compared to higher income patients that was different was how to pay for clinical trial participation. Lower income patients were much more likely to be concerned about how to pay for their participation. So we think this has implications um, for patients particularly because we're, uh, um, it raises the issue about whether patients of all income levels have equal access to trials. And for clinicians and researchers, uh, better participation of lower income patients could uh, increase uh, clinical trial participation, allow us to do studies faster, and it would uh, better assure the applicability of clinical trial results across all income levels.